guys. I've upgraded. I'm making a show. clothes because I was uncomfortable as fuck. The only reason I'm really doing this is because I'm tired of eating soup and fucking off-brand Top Ramen. So I said, let's do it. Let's give YouTube a little bit of insight on how to cook some chicken. Oh yeah, we're making chicken and rice. But it's not just any chicken and rice. It's no antibiotics ever. Fo oh shit, never mind. Foster Farms chicken. Okay, and jasmine rice. We're getting fancy. This is the cheap stuff. Only the cheap stuff for me, okay? Thank you. I'm gonna show you how to make the best fucking chicken right now. I learned this when I was living alone, when I had, when I found it out on YouTube. Jeez, this is how they package? This is how they package their Ziplocs. What is that? That's a fucking mess. I don't know what to do with this. This is, oh my goodness. Winko needs to fucking step their game up. This is not what I wanted. This is the smallest bag I've ever seen. This is the type of bag you deal drugs with. This is not the bags to make chicken. I'm gonna do it anyways, because I have to, but not satisfied. I'm a little bit in a rush, because I'm. I, all I ate today was a sandwich. So my protein levels are like, non-existent. So, what I like to do is, I like to cut my chickens in half, like, so, just anywhere really. You find a half point, cut it. Just go for it. You can't fuck this up unless you do. Like I am right now. I'm fucking this up completely. Just a big old breast. Just slap that in your bag right there. Throw it in your bag. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna work. Dissatisfied. I have to make all of it because I don't have a fridge. So again, fucking cutting it in half. Twice. Cut it in half. Oh, and this just a is not any knife. This is a um, a pocket knife. I bought it off of Amazon. I don't know the brand. I should wash, I should have washed this before I started cutting the chicken. Oh, also, wash your hands before you do this. I, I definitely did. I washed them right in my sink that I have back there. After you got your chickens in there, after I, oh, I need to wash my fucking hands. At least gonna rinse them off with some damn waters. Cause we got a fuck ton and we don't need to drink all this right now. Don't got soap, but I mean, who needs soap in your room, all right? So what we're doing next is we're adding in the seasoning, which is stay basic, guys. You stick with the salt, you stick with the pepper, that's all you really need. Plus you need the Yoshida's and the Sriracha. You can't go wrong, use those four, make your chicken, make your chicken prime as fuck. Don't, don't weigh anything out. Don't check the measurements, read off your instincts. Just throw it all in there. Oh, it's fine. It all tastes the same anyways, because it's fucking chicken. But your chicken's gonna be banging, because you fucked up and put a lot of pepper in there. Same with the salt. In. I don't I don't know if that's in the... In. Ah, uh, fuck it. And after you're done with that, put your sauces in there. Because it's gonna taste fucking great. Always put some spice in there, so your chicken's bland as shit. You don't want a basic chicken. You don't want to raise your chicken to fucking use dog filters. That chicken gonna be unique as fuck. Yoshida's. Try it. If you never had it, fucking eat it. It's good. That's a good fucking Yoshida time. Now, that's only halfway. Next step, seal your chicken. How, how, how do you even seal these? The thing is, I looked at the Ziplocs next to it, like the actual brand Ziplocs, and I looked at the price tag. It said like 550 or some shit, and I immediately thought, fuck that. I don't live in a house, I don't need Ziplocs. And I chose the $1.50 bags because I thought it would be the same, but just not brand name. But I was completely wrong. Buy Ziplocs, this is the worst time ever. Once you got it in the bag, beat the fuck out of it. Decimate this chicken. Because you're trying to get all the stuff in the chicken and flatten that bitch out. I'm hoping this does not explode because what you're about to do is violent. Beat it until it looks like that, where it doesn't even look like chicken anymore. It just looks like processed meat in a bag. Do it, do it till that, and you're fucking prime. You're good. I forgot about my other chicken. Hold on. Let me. Let, let's do this real fucking fast. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your your portable stove burner thing. You're gonna do that so it locks in the gas thing, and you're gonna turn it up to exactly whatever temperature that is. And now you're just gonna throw your pot on. Just fucking, uh, that's enough. All right, this is either gonna go really fucking bad or really fucking good. We're just gonna send it. Oh, damn! Oh, <laughs> ah! Open the window! Oh, fuck me! 
Jeez, I'm gonna die. I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off. It's looking really fucking bad right now. Don't turn your heat up that high. Don't go that high. How are we gonna flip it? Ow, shit. This was a bad idea. I already smell this burning shit. Oh, it looks good though. Should I let it sit or not? I don't know. I'm breathing just smoking right now and it hurts my throat. So now what you do is you just sit and you, you, you fucking check the fire every 10 seconds to see if it's still burning. Oh my gosh, that was scary. All right. Yeah, just burn the fucking hell out of it until it sounds like Satan. It looks fucking banging though. So you're just gonna let that sit for a little bit till you think it's good. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. I don't have plates. I don't have anything to put. I have nowhere to put this. I have upgraded from soup, but I have downgraded to cardboard plates. Ooh, damn! I turned it up a little bit. Oh, it's getting louder. I turned it up a little bit, and now it's starting to scare me. Fuck it, we're okay, fuck it. All right, now that we're waiting for our chicken, oh, this is a disaster. We're gonna start making our rice. Please leave me, please leave. I'm trying to make chicken here. Someone pulled in the parking lot. Uh oh, oh, it's getting smoky. We're, far, we're turning it back down. All right, never mind. We're paying attention to the chicken because rice can fucking wait. Rice can wait. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing, but he's back. All right found it. So, from what I know from making rice, this chicken is scaring the shit out of me. The other one's not cooked. I gotta cook it again. Um, half and half, no. It's one and then double it. So for every cup of rice, you put two cups of water in it. That smells burnt and I'm not excited about this. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm dying. You hear that? That's exactly, you look, you see that? That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. It's burnt and smell like shit. Two cups of water. Where the water is at will tell you how much rice is in there because it will expand and get to that level and it will be just rice in there. And that's, that's what I gotta tell you about rice. I'm guess fucking put pepper in there. I'm getting really stressed out about this fucking chicken. <laughs> This video has got to end. Cook it for like 20 minutes. Cover it. Yeah, cook and cover for 20 minutes. That's And then it should be good. And then don't look at it. Don't fucking take the lid off. Don't peep at it. You're good. It's all you need. It's all you want. Eat it. I'm scared. I'm scared for my life because my chest hurts and chicken's not being done. I got to keep cooking it. People are coming in or out of this parking lot. Oh, story behind that. Another guy showed up. Really weird. They, they met up, like, they parked on either side of the parking lot, so they're fucking, they could look at each other. They both got out, came to each other, hugged each other, was staring at me because I'm a fucking guy making chicken in his car, and they just talked. I'm pretty sure it was a drug deal, and they, I didn't catch it, but they talked for, like, a total of two minutes, hugged each other, went back to the cars, and drove off. It sounds like a definite drug dealer because they were both maybe 16, both white. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm gonna flip my chicken. If you can pick it off like this, I don't know if that's safe to eat, but we go eat it anyways because I want some fucking kick. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super dry chicken. Oh, the other one's bleeding out. It's all over my dash. I don't want to eat that one. That one looks extremely dry. This is a terrible time. I'm coming prepared next time. We're gonna have plates, utensils. We're gonna do it outside, probably. Yep, burn it up, child. Burn it up. This one's gonna be a good one. That one can go fuck itself. So what I've decided to do is take the old chicken piece, cover it with Ziplocs, and use that as a plate. I think it's a smart idea. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna take this fucking tampon out. And we're gonna put the Ziplocs right in there. Fucking genius. Now with the rice, you don't wanna boil it. You wanna leave it on simmer. Use all of those suggestions and your rice should be fucking primo, primo, delicioso. And yeah, just leave that out on there for 20 minutes. Then you're fucking great. And now you got your rice. Stir it up. It's looking good. Put your chicken in there. Cut it up. I don't care. I'm done with this video. This was a fucking disaster. Have a good night.